sorry, guys. I don't think I can make it. You got this. You got to. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Years of spicy experiments have taught me two things. Capsaicin wrecks your stomach, and alcohol usually helps. Alcohol dissolves capsaicin, numbs your nerves, and relaxes gut muscles. So what happens when you combine capsaicin with alcohol? Introducing Reaper Rum. The world's hottest alcohol infused with three of the spiciest peppers on the planet. Carolina Reaper, Ghost Pepper, and the Trinidad Scorpion. Will it destroy my stomach or will the alcohol cancel out the pain? Can you even feel the buzz through all the burn? Well, <laughs> there's only one way to find out, by drinking a bunch of it. As always, never attempt anything you see in this video. I'm excited to do this video. Not because of the spicy stuff, but we just burned off three of my fingertips and they really hurt. So drinking alcohol seems great right now. Now, this Reaper rum is 50% or 100 proof. So it's pretty strong rum. As I said, it has the Carolina Reaper, the Naga Ghost Chili or Ghost Pepper, and a Trinidad Scorpion. I'd say it's in the ballpark of 2 million Scoville units. They do say to not have more than one bottle of this, 25 milliliters. There's quite the warning here. However, I got six bottles and I wanna see if I can drink all six. Cause a side experiment here is to see if I can get a buzz or a little drunk from it. I don't know if I'll make it that far. Cause as you see, they also have a nice little infographic here. If you get all the way like a full shot, you're called a gangster. And I like to think I'm a gangster. You're a baller if you have like a half full shot, and then you're a noob if you have just a little splash. To start this experiment, since I have so much of this, I'm gonna start at noob and go to baller, then gangster, and then we'll go from there. This isn't so much about me just handling the heat. I'm very interested to see what it does to my stomach. However, with like every spicy challenge I'll do, I'll wait five minutes before I redose or take another shot, observe the effects. So it'll kind of be soaking into my stomach progressively as this goes on. Hopefully no stomach cramps. That's what we're going for here today. And YouTube, this is science. I'm not an alcoholic. Don't age restrict this, all right? Everyone in the comments say like something smart. So if YouTube goes to this video, they're like, oh, these people are putting really intelligent things in the comments. This is a learning channel. And, but don't mention that I said this, okay? Make no mention of that. And then hopefully YouTube just doesn't watch. Let's get started here. So this is gonna be a noob level shot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's just like a ball's hair in there. Here we go. That is awful. Oh my God. Yo, instant heat. Spicy? Yeah, yeah, it's spicy. Wow, that is instant. You know, sometimes like the peanuts, when we did the peanut video, it takes a little bit for the heat to be heating. This is heat instantly, man. Oh my God. I see now why they say don't drink more than 25 milliliters. Holy, my stomach is already upset. I think it's mad at me already. What? Oh, no. Did we meet an early maker? Dude, I'm puking. There's no, oh. No. Not now, but I can feel it. My tummy is already hurting. Uh, Pepto-Bismol, please. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'll wait until my five minutes before I have my Pepto. Whoa. Can I ride the wave for a sec? Oh, he's, he's already drooling. Gross. What are you guys talking about? You're doing great. I'm, I'm, I'm high. Oh my, I messed up. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, look how many bottles you got. <laughs> This is, might be the most toxic stuff I've ever put on in love. Even that little tiny shot of that, oh my God, my stomach hurts. No, I contemplated taking a noob shot with you, but you're not really- No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't even have a drop of this if I didn't have to. Come to my senses, but my tummy is aching right now. Look how much I had. Just in case this alcohol doesn't do the job. And there's your five minutes. Okay. I forgot to have my Pepto-Bismol though. Early uh, prediction here, it doesn't help with the stomach pain. That's what I'm gonna say. I think I'm gonna be in trouble. All right, so when you spend your adult life testing painful challenges for science, your body remembers everything. But here's the thing, you don't need to put yourself through the painful experiments I do to need a doctor. We all deal with stuff, random pains, weird rashes, allergies, stomach issues, or those my knee was fine yesterday, but isn't today moments. 
Foods. That's why I use today's sponsor, ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free website that lets you search, compare, and instantly book in-network doctors online. You can filter by insurance, location, and speciality, read verified patient reviews, and even see doctors who have availability this week, not months from now. With over 100,000 healthcare providers, ZocDoc makes it easy to book everything from primary care to dentists, eye doctors, and dermatologists, often within 24 to 72 hours, including same-day appointments. So I'll keep doing the painful experiments so you don't have to, but taking care of your health is on you. Go to ZocDoc.com forward slash Houston Jones to find and instantly book a top rated doctor today. Thanks to ZocDoc for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's restart the clock. We're going to, we're going to baller. I'm going to do a half shot. Oh, you're probably wondering where Mark is this week. Uh, he's at a dental convention in... Miami. Miami, yeah. Uh -huh. He does them every other year. Uh, so unfortunately he couldn't uh, partake in the pain today. It's a real shame. I think he would have liked this. I think he would have enjoyed it. I wish I would have found this out uh, last year. We're doing half shot now. I'm officially gonna be a baller. Jeez, that seems like a lot more. Unfortunately, it's hardly put a debt in the bottle. I'm not even halfway. <sighs> when in Michigan, right? Cheers. I just swallowed it. I didn't let it get in my mouth at all. Oh, touched my tongue a little bit. That's not too bad because it just went straight down my throat. I don't know what this is gonna do to my stomach. <laughs> it's weird that you've done so much spicy challenges yet you feel like you're in uncharted territory. Yeah, well, I've never drank the spice. Oh, except that one time I tried to drink a bottle of hot sauce. Uh, it was called the bed hot sauce and I got like one fourth of the way and just projectile vomited. Okay, my throat is like feeling like it's swelling shut now. Someone might have to give me CPR. Jake. I'm certified. Where's your card? We don't need it now. But in case I do die and it, your CPR doesn't save me, you can at least like save your own skin. Okay, it's really, oh, my throat hurts so bad. Oh my God, this is awful, it's heinous. Oh God, oh, oh. Oh, I feel, feel hot, I feel spicy. My stomach is okay, just okay. And I'm gonna say it right now. You can't get drunk off this because you will die. You will die before, long before you get drunk on this. You'll vomit and then die. Right, there's a, a like a, a sliver of hope, you know, just the, the smallest sliver of hope that this will just be spicy and no stomach pain. It's all gone now, the hope's gone. In fact, I'm taking the tiny sombrero off. Oh. <laughs> That's how I feel about this, but Perhaps a little bit more medicine without spice in it will do the trick. This is one thing I realized with Mark doing the stuff with me last year, especially the spicy stuff. It's much more enjoyable when someone else is suffering alongside of me with that. I didn't care as much for like the physical pain, but the spicy stuff, I could see how bad he was doing. And I'm like, I feel better now, but I don't have that. Now I just feel bad. I'll take a sip. <laughs> he just says no hesitation. <laughs> Did you plan this? No, okay. I didn't, I swear. You're gonna have to rewear that. Yeah, you're right. I get to put this back on. The mood has changed. Well, Jake, I'm here to watch you suffer. So for your courage, yearning for scientific knowledge, I gotta order you a lab coat. You know, only five years too late, but you know, <laughs> better late than never. So bottoms up. It is a noob level shot, but just participating on this one is a commendable effort. This one goes out to all of you viewers, longtime fans mm -hmm. and friends. Remember when he had the spicy chip? Just a piece of it? <laughs> Didn't go good. Jake, throw up a clip. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <sh> Whoa, <laughs> wait, 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 Jake. <laughs> <laughs> when in Michigan. Woo! Oh, my God, that <laughs> is so <laughs> Holy Holy <laughs> Holy Oh, my God. It's concerning, isn't it? Holy Houston. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? That is like the hottest thing ever <laughs> I've ever put. <laughs> you wanna? <coughs> oh. It uh, loots it a bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Quick, ice cream. Uh, <laughs> oh, why you and Mark do this? This <laughs> 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 
His eyes started tearing <laughs> up. <laughs> mm. What's oh. your, out of the spicy stuff you've oh. tried uh, over the years, well, how do you rate oh, that? I just need to f out in my throat. <laughs> I think it's the worst, some of the worst stuff I've felt on my throat. Oh my God, the throat part. Yeah. I don't think you'll have any stomach issues with that <sighs> tiny amount, but isn't that painful? Even just a little bit. So I agree with you saying the initial reaction, mm -hmm. the heat, how fast, there's not, like yeah. the minute that shot went back. Heat. Heat, there's no time to react. And there's then, no time to na analyze. I think it, up to that first minute, it's getting hot <laughs> too. Oh, okay. Nope, it's not enjoyable. And in fact, you know what? I feel a lot better for me to take this gangster level shot. <laughs> well, I'm glad it could help. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach feels fine right now. I've had the noob level shot, which admittedly was kind of a big noob level shot. And then I had the baller one. I am now on to gangster. As you can see, it's pretty topped up there. Ooh. I know I said I wanted to drink at least two. If I can just get past one and maybe a little bit of that one, that's already a win. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. We're gonna go to this shot and we'll see if that holds true. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this. Cheers. <laughs> There's a chance maybe that my, when you eat spicy stuff, really spicy stuff, your, your taste buds kind of die for a few days especially if you eat a high quantity of it. So maybe each progressive shot will get easier for me. I think the only way you could have tested that theory is if you did the same noob shot. Over and over? Over and over. <sighs> oh God, that's bad on the throat, man. My uh, uh, umicula. What is the dangly thing in your throat? Little guy. The little guy? The little guy that goes little, 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 little. The uvula. 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 I don't think that's how you say it, but I can't figure it out. My uvula is inflamed. <sighs> My uvula has grown twice its size. Oh, it's uvula, uvula. Thank you, uvula. My uvula is cooking. I don't know though, I think, I think maybe I'm handling it better. My ears are kind of like ringing. Oh, it's weird how the, the high hits again, man. Look into my eyes. Who are we? Who am I? Sometimes when you look into the abyss, the abyss looks back at you. Okay. Yeah, my stomach hurts. Okay, timer. We're gonna do a little experiment here. My mouth is kind of fine right now. My stomach is starting to, it's like something's trying to escape currently. So, and it hurts bad. We're gonna try a big swig and see if it calms things down. Well, I'm gonna carry on, but. Uh, going further? Yeah. After three shots going from noob to gangsta, both of my predictions or hopes have been crushed. It 100% affects your stomach and there's no way you can get drunk on it because like I said earlier, you would vomit or die. I think you, you proved a point. Going where no man should. To the morgue. No, no man should. Look at that, oh my God. This is what we're working with here. This is a, just a normal shot glass. This is the tiny one they provided. It's not truly a shot, so. I still got that much left in the bottle. I haven't drank that much out of this rum. I am very nervous to do this. I don't think it will end well for me, but I haven't vomited yet, so that's a problem. And maybe this will remedy it. Open the throat. You only live once. No, I can't say a YOLO thing. Yeah, come on, it's not uh, 2010. You only die once. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I'm nervous. Can you give me the ice cream? I'm just gonna eat it. I'm just gonna eat it. That hurts really bad instantly on my throat. I, I did a really good job swallowing that fast, but uh, uh, that is really painful. Oh my God. Like extraordinarily painful. It's on my uvula. It's on my uvi. And how do you get ice cream on your uvi? Oh, not good. Ah, no, I don't feel good. I'm scared. Like I feel it hit the stomach. Question is, is all the stuff I've done, can I make it settle without it going crazy? I truly feel like I was fine with all the stuff I had up until that shot. It's always one too many when it comes to shots. No, oh, it's hurting so bad in the stomach. I don't think the ice cream helps at that point. Maybe a shot of vodka. I, I'm already kind of buzzing. Think, Houston, think. I want one spicy video where I don't vomit everywhere. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I can make it. You got this. You got to. I can't. I can't. I can't. Andy, grab his eating pad. And maybe the vodka. Oh, you didn't even make it outside. Yeah. Oh, heating pad, please. Oh, no. New level of heat? New level of, I'm vomiting my stomach up. Never, I don't think it's ever hit me that fast. And I'm hoping it's done right now. I puked up so much, there's Pepto-Bismol. Gross. Uh, you know, my sandwich, alcohol. I need to clean that up. So yeah, we called it. I'll check back in in a day or two, let you know if anything else happens. I will say right now that stuff is poison. In terms though of this video being a success or not, I puked. So I kind of consider it a success. I had this thing going on in my head that if I didn't vomit, I didn't try hard enough. So we needed to create a new standard. <laughs> I hope you're all happy uh, that you know, I put myself through enough pain for the first week back in 2026. I'll see you all in a couple days. <laughs> it's time for the world's spiciest alcohol data review. After the projectile vomiting incident in my yard, I actually went to bed with little to no discomfort. The next morning, however, brought a slightly spicy bowel movement, but nothing too painful. So, does alcohol infused capsaicin reduce stomach pain? Absolutely not. If anything, it makes the pain worse and the onset is much faster. This is probably because alcohol dissolves and spreads capsaicin instantly, stripping away your stomach's protective lining and delivers the heat straight to exposed nerve endings. While alcohol on its own can sometimes help dull the capsaicin cramps, combining the two is basically a one-way ticket to Puke City. And that's with me doing everything possible to prevent the cramps. In short, never drink spicy alcohol unless you're actively trying to have a terrible time. Those are just my findings. Let me know what you all think down in the comments. And if you want more behind the scenes madness, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll love the time I tested whether cannabis can increase my pain tolerance. Let's just say I got very stony baloney in that video. So stony that I didn't even want to be there. Just wanted to sit on the couch and eat chips.